Multicultural Spotlight, presented by Chevrolet. Find new roads. Welcome back to your multicultural spotlight. A dramatic increase in opioid overdoses. The Marion County Health Department is uh, tracking unsettling growth in the last two years. News 8's multicultural reporter Katir Winfrey explains what kind of training a local agency is holding to minimize the risk of death. Her living wellness is focused on whole health, and that covers a broad spectrum. But adding to that focus is fighting back against opioid addiction, particularly as it relates to black and brown communities, pointing out that the opioid epidemic isn't an unfamiliar crisis. The opioid epidemic continues to grow, and the list of people impacted is getting younger. Lateva Mobili Django is CEO of Her Living Wellness Campus. For the rest of the year, in partnership with Ujima Wellness, they will hold monthly free naloxone administering training sessions. Attendees will learn how to spot the signs of an overdose and how to respond. The training will also come with two free doses of naloxone, also known as Narcan. She knows how opioids can impact the person, community, and a family. She lost her nephew. But instead of holding on to the grief, she's using it to help others who have loved ones battling addiction. Or He was coming home. He was so close. He was right there when he was found and that that's a term that becomes it becomes personal to you when you know you're dealing with a loved one who is struggling with addiction you don't want to find them well billy Django says she understands some may feel this training encourages use but says it's a necessary step because someone can't ever get help if they aren't alive to eventually get it the training is free but registration is required Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and like us on Facebook.